This is Arvind Vora, founder of Vora Method and co-founder of the AP Homeschool Project. In this video, I'm going to tell you how through independent, integrated AP history learning, you can dominate the multiple choice sections of several different AP exams. I've taken a, a, a passage and a question out of the AP European history exam, and this is what to expect. On, you'll see this on the AP European history, AP US history, AP US government, and you'll see similar uh, questions on some of the other AP, ex, AP history exams and even the AP English exams. Now, here's what you have. You have a passage, and it's from this guy, Johannes von Staupitz. There's a passage, and there's going to be four questions after the passage. Now, you don't need to know about this guy beforehand. You don't need to have read this ever before. You read it on the exam, during the exam, just like you're taking an SAT or something like that. So in other words, you don't need outside information. Now, if you've ever taken or seen somebody else take a, say, an AP US history exam or an AP European history, uh, sorry, AP US history class or AP European history class at a public or private school, what do they do? They spend time memorizing names and dates, which is totally stupid. I mean, it's, it's a bad approach to history because it's not intellectual. It's not analytical. Real history is about analyzing primary sources. It's about looking for causes and effects. It's about seeing how human nature and historical event, events work together. That's the real intellectual study of history. It's not who can memorize the most dates. That's like turning it into a game show or something. So first, they waste time on that. And that's not going to be tested here. It's not part of history. And it's also not part of the exam either. Now, in addition to stuff that is question, a question of questionable value, they also fill their classes with a bunch of just stupid busy work, paper mache projects, papers on nonsense, oral reports about nothing. And when they're not doing that, they're basically cramming their, their courses full of political indoctrination. None of that's useful. So you can get rid of all of that right away, right? Now, if you learn how to do this kind of analysis, right, analyzing passage, answer, answering the question, you don't have to do a separate training for the different exams. You learn how to do that, and then you apply that one skill to multiple different exams. Now, compare that again to what happens in public and private schools. Public and private schools, you slog through these nine-month courses that are just so painful, so much unnecessary work, all this busy work, all these unnecessarily difficult tests, names and dates and nonsense, nothing of real substance. You're not getting smarter. You're just cramming your brain full of idiocy. And at the end of this nine-month slog with term papers and other papers and all this painful stuff, you're maybe ready for one AP history exam. Now, let's suppose you take control of your own education. You stop putting it in the hands of somebody else that has their own agenda. You say, I'm going to take control of my own education. Three or four months of hardcore work. And you're ready not to take one, not two, but three AP history exams right away. AP European history, AP US government, uh, and AP European history. You can then do a little bit more work, and you're ready for the remaining three AP history exams. And so in one to two years, you can be ready for six exams, get fives on six AP exams. Whereas in one to two years, with much more work in public and private schools, you're ready for maybe uh, one or two AP history exams. So by, by understanding that these, are not, these aren't going to be tests of facts, by understanding these are going to be tests of how well you can analyze something, you're going to be ready to take multiple exams. Now, kids in school, in, in public and private school, what do they do? When they see something like this, they, they'll, they start to freak out. They say, oh my God, I've never heard of this person before. They emotionally implode. They get everything wrong for no reason. Whereas if you go in knowing that this is going to be a test of analysis and reading comprehension and all that, you say, okay, let me read this passage and answer the questions. Simply done. And by doing that, by having that approach, you can, in less time, get higher scores on more exams than people stuck in public and private schools.